नमस्ते आई एम सरना श्रेष्ठ थैंक यू आई एम सी सी आर टी टू थाउजेंड ट्वेंटी फोर आई एम प्रेजेंटिंग फ्रॉम सेंटर डिपार्टमेंट ऑफ होम साइंस टूवर यूनिवर्सिटी आई एम प्रेजेंटिंग ऑन माई टॉपिक चाइल्ड राइट ऑफ चिल्ड्रेन विद डिजेबिलिटी Here is the outline of my presentation. I will go with the introduction, research objectives, methodology, data analysis, finding, conclusion, limitation, and differences. <clears throat> introduction: Disability is a bodily state in which an individual has decrease or limit of the function to interact with others, which which has different type like a physical, cognitive mix. Uh, that is from the disability overview, two thousand twenty two. Disability is the result from the interaction between the individual with his health conditions such as cerebral palsy, autism, Down syndrome, depression, with his personal and environmental factors, including negative attitude, inaccessible transportation and public building, and limit social support. According to Law of Commission of Nepal, defines disability is a person having long-term multidimensional disorder that hinders individual participation like others in the community. Similarly, uh, children with disability have a uh, have a and alike rights of a normal one without any form of discrimination and have a right to survive, participate, and protect from any sort of harm like others. And children with disability have shall right to enjoy his uh, right granted under the user law on the equal basis with others, which hold the rights of non discrimination. right of community life right to cultural life and right to have a social equities and have a right to facilities facilities and justice the objective of my study is to uh, was to assess the existing knowledge regarding right of children with disability among the stakeholders the research methodology i have chosen the descriptive research through the quantitative style The study population all the stakeholders working for the children with disability at the center called as Self Help Group for Cerebral Palsy in Nepal. That the case. This is the only organization that works for the children with cerebral palsy since a decade. And the site is same. The sample size is I have taken seventy two stakeholders who is who is working directly and indirectly. Sample frame and procedure I have chosen purposive sampling so through the census method. as the objective of study is to study on the only the rights of the children with disability data analysis all the data uh, is entered to in an excel sheet and analyzed to the spss uh, 20% with frequency and and uh, percentages were used finding up my study taking disability as seen of past life out of 72 respondent 84.77 seven percentages So have same have said that disability is not seen of past life. The perception has changed. Neglect among children with disability has shown most of the respondent fifty fifty eight. That is eighty point six percent percentages have stated that children with disability are still neglected, neglected are uh, with the different forms. The majority of the respondent fifty two. That is seventy two point two percentages have known about the right of the children with disability. That is a, of a normal child. Whereas twenty seven point eight respondents have no idea about the child rights. Whoever said that that they knew about the rights of the children with disability are just they knew about basic rights. Similarly, the average population of my site found that uh, they have some knowledge regarding the right of the children with children with disabilities, but regarding the guiding principle formed by the Convention Right of the Children with Disability, they are still uh, unaware. So the <clears throat> so the the population have poor knowledge regarding the fundamental rights of the children with disabilities the here the pie diagram also shows that the the rate mark shows the 15% of the population have the changed their perception regarding the not understanding of disabilities whereas the maximum numbers of the respondent have knew the disability is not because of the scene of the past life regarding the play rights of children with disability almost uh, every uh, almost all the respondent have said that the children with disability shall have a right to uh, right to play similarly right of the social gathering 
all the uh, among the all, among the respondent 69 that is about 95 percent have said that yes the, they need a, a right of a social gathering as if they have have the rights to or uh, right to social gather then they could see the uh, the life of normal people and have have uh, feel themselves as uh, being a part of the society still but uh, still the three of respondent that is around four percent have uh, have no idea about the social rights <clears throat> Regarding the place for the children with disability, uh, more, um, more of the respondent that is about 49 of the respondent that is 68 percent of respondent have said that children with disabilities uh, should stay at a daycare center as a daycare center provides lots of facilities regarding the development of the individual child. Whereas uh, the 17 respondent have persons have changed, they say that the children with disabilities should also go to the normal school as like as others. Whereas six respondents still say that the children with disabilities still need to stay at home. The, they, they might say because of the because of the having severity due to physical or intellectually. Regarding the uh, knowledge of the children with disabilities, still uh, when, uh, about 39, that is 55 percent of the respondent have poor knowledge regarding the children with disability. They didn't know about the guiding principle formed by the CRC. The conclusion of my study is the, the, the research topic on the child rights of the children with disease, disability has found only average stakeholders have basic knowledge on the rights of the children with disabilities regarding guiding principle. <laughs> Sorry. <clears throat> Still, the perception is lacking. And uh, there's a great need of awareness regarding the uh, rights of the children with disability among the stakeholders. Limitation of my study, this is uh, only, uh, the study is limited only for the right will to, uh, of children with disability. We do not focus on the other aspect of disability. The researcher have chosen only the organization who is working solely for children with disabilities. Here are my references of my studies. Thank you. Thank you for your active listening.